Thanks for staying with us here on SEL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, back with John Rogers, the curator of the Da Vinci Machines exhibition here in St. Louis until... Labor Day weekend. So all summer. Yeah, we, we thought we'd be here through uh, May 31st. By then, with our, the attendance was so wonderful. But then we got calls from like the, uh, a lot of inbound tour operators that handle groups coming in St. Louis. And they said, John, you cannot leave St. Louis in the middle of our three months. Right. We have groups coming in here at the convention. This is our prime time. And this is the first time we've had an exhibit over the main three months of the summer here in St. Louis. So we're very excited. Yeah, this is great. So about how long should people plan to spend in the exhibit watching the movie and doing the well, thing. I would say at minimum, I would leave yourself an hour and a half because you have over 60 designs and you want to read the CODIS, a copy of his book right next to the design that we have. You want to read those. And plus, we have a 45-minute movie about his life. And it's well worth seeing that. And I mean, it takes from the beginning to the end, his ideas, and it really gets in depth. And, and uh, it's very, very well done. And so if you did all of those type of things, and plus you want to take a lunch break with our band, as I mentioned, you can do with the wristband, you can go out and you can come back. So that's the purpose of the wristband? Exactly you right. Come and go. You can come all and go. All day. Because there's so much <laughs> to take in. And we went, yeah. I mean, people leave the exhibit, they go, wow, I had just had no idea, John. I said, I know, I go take a break, get digested, and come on back and continue. Yeah. So in our last segment, we were talking about the designs and how the, the designs that Leonardo da Vinci left have been... Um, Remanufactured yes. using the original materials that he had specified in his designs. That is correct. But I'm curious about the idea of using modern materials, if that's been done, and has it been done in any of the exhibits that are traveling right now? You know, they have. And in fact, when they, uh, in fact, we have the original air screw of Leonardo, which is the beginning of our helicopters. And in, in some of the uh, 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 artists across the country, they've had Da Vinci exhibits there. They've actually gone in and say, take this design, put it to a modern day usage, put our modern day knowledge and see how it works. Mm -hmm. And just a short, like 10 years ago, uh, 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 a company in France actually redesigned the um, a parachute just the way Leonardo would have. And because he knew his flying machines were unstable. And mm -hmm. if you got up in the air, you know what? You needed plan B. Mm -hmm. And he came up with the idea for the parachute. If air doesn't pass through the material, the linen or the, or the burlap, it would just flop from one side to another. But now that air would pass through, it would gently lower you to the surface of the planet. He, the guy jumped out. Best of luck to him. It went 200 feet down and softly layered, lowered him to the surface and of the planet. Worked, and goodness. it worked, thank goodness. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> yeah, so we know Leonardo da Vinci's um, designs are pretty much perfect. Oh, they were. And you know, and the unusual thing about Leonardo is he's like the head, he's the standard in every one of these different areas. I mean, in mechanics, in drawing, in, in, in medicine, in, in the military ideas, he's the beginning and he's the, he's the knowledge. And, and the more I got involved with him over the last two years that I've been involved with the entire project, it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And what do we know about him as a person? Do, have, we, have we learned a lot through his designs or through other things and writings? Well, the key that we learned about is, is uh, uh, his main life was that he was an illegitimate son of a servant of his mm -hmm. father's and because of that fact thankful for all of us he was kept outside the educational system mm. of the era and when he got all of his ideas until he was 14 years old he was allowed to roam free and so until he got to be 14 he got all of his ideas from nature and he walked in and when you see these designs where he took the nature ideas of the first tank of the turtle the tortoise and he developed that into that he took the idea of the bat wing for human flight and you see how you just adapt these on an ongoing basis it's just ingenious and that's what I tell when I tell the groups that come through we have tours through the exhibit on the weekend and I tell the young people that I go in through I say you know what we have to do in our life we've got to turn off these iPods for a little bit we've got to turn off these computers we have to we have to work through nature like Leonardo and come mm. up with new ideas to help the next generation go move forward this is what we have to do and that's why we want the, the children to come through to discover the da Vinci in them because it's in all of us you know that's so interesting <clears throat> because I, I believe as you do that children need to spend time in nature and I never would have made that that leap to the uh, the parallel with the inventions of Da Vinci. That's very interesting, and also great for our summer theme. <laughs> oh, it is. I mean, I mean, you're being saying it's going to be hot this summer, but I mean, plus you don't want to just waste the three months with the children. Let's let's teach them something. And and I look back. I mean, I didn't learn this till I got I was well out of college. And I say, and you wouldn't believe the adults that come through. They go, you know, John, this is the stuff we should have been taught. Right. And I said, you know, you're exactly right. So you not only get a great idea with the greatest minds of the time, you get a 
history lesson, and you just you just feel like you brought up to speed because yeah. there was so much that that he's done that is so relevant in our own lives every day. Yeah, well, it's a great way to spend a summer morning or summer afternoon at the Da Vinci Exhibition in downtown St. Louis. Um, all the information is here. The website discoverdavinci.com has the hours and uh, details on where to find it. So. Just a, a quick ride downtown and you can hit City Garden while you're there and grab lunch as well. So it's a great day. John, thank you so much for coming and sharing this with us. We're glad that you'll be with us till the end of the summer here in St. Louis. So. Sure, thank you so much. And thank you for joining your, us. Bring your family down as well. Uh, we're going to be there. Oh, of great. course, I'm excited. So stay with us here on STL TV Live. We'll be back to fill you in on more great happenings around St. Louis. So stay with us.